we've kept much from you, Sam. This isn't my war. I fear it soon will be. Dude. Crazy, right? Kick ass. Thanks, Give me man. some. Yes, Jeez. Are you kidding? Crazy. I mean, <laughs> yeah. You know, it's funny because you said in the first one, You've never seen anything like this before. Sure. So what do you say about this one now? This is a bad race. It's just bigger, badder, stronger, faster. This one is five times the movie that the first one is. It's really, I mean, people, you hear people say, like, it's a roller coaster ride. It's mind-blowing when they promote their movies, but this really is that. I, I feel ridiculous saying it, but it's true. It blew me away when I saw it. Archaeologists found these unexplained markings in ancient ruins all over the world. They gotta mean something, like a message or like a map. Visually. Uh, they're not gonna be able to compare this film to anything else. It's definitely setting the bar. Megatron wants what's in my mind. Were you worried about when you were when you came back after the injury that, sure. that maybe it you might could get further worse? injury? Yeah, yeah, I mean it, it did get worse. I mean things did get worse. I like movies with risk. I like uh, I like my my hero to feel the pain. And I like as an audience member to go through it with him and and. There's no, uh, <laughs> there's no, uh, there's no, nothing more painful than trying to shoot a Transformer movie with a broken paw. No that's fake in rough. there, huh? No, nah, that's a very real situation. It's about explosions in your face, <laughs> feeling like you're gonna die, you know, spikes coming through cars, opening up in your face, me being yanked, holding onto a pole while two fans in front of my face. You, you can feel the heat on your neck. Like, you know, your, your, your hairs are like crisping, like they're starting to burn a little bit. It's very close. That's, I think that's, he does it on purpose. He wants very real reactions, so, you know? I mean, when we're done filming 12 hours a day of explosions, I come back and we're like, everybody's shaking. Ramon is saying that the explosions were so close that you literally could feel the hair on the back of your neck being burned sure. off. Was it really that close or yeah. was that just a special effects? No, 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 it's just a real deal. You're talking about the biggest explosions ever put in a film with that actor in it? I mean, in the history of filmmaking? This is the biggest practical effects movie ever made. It really forces you to be kind of in the moment. Make sure you know where these bombs are going to be going off, because there's some big ones. Yeah. Uh, and they get close. And they want you to be as close as possible, because it looks out much cooler on film. So, uh, oh, yeah, so, have your face missing when it goes off. Yeah, well, well so, so my thing is, OK, this is coming. I know it's coming. i got to be ready. And when it goes, you got to, you know, it shocks you a little bit, but then you got to remember what you have to say after that. <laughs> And I've forgotten my lines more than once, believe me, after one of those goes off. Because you're like, what the oh, shit. <laughs> I did a lot of my own sets. The spike coming through the thing, I mean, that was a really dangerous stunt. That that was a hydraulic thing that spiked through really quick. And I had to, I couldn't move. I had to literally stay right in my spot or else I would have lost my face. Fate rarely calls upon us at a moment of our choosing. My job was to make uh, the military look good, make my soldiers look good, and to treat these things as if they were real. And, uh, and you know, we have a lot of military advisors around. We have the guys that, you know, all, I have a lot of friends that are SEALs, especially after doing the first one and then the second one. Yeah. And they're not afraid to let you know if you screw it up. Yeah, I'm sure. So, you know, I really wanted to, I really wanted to make them proud, and that's, that was my main concern. Hey, beautiful. I got your webcam so we can chat 24 7. Sounds cute, I can't wait. You and Megan uh, coming back again for the second time. Was there a, a scene that you know just kind of comes to mind that was one of your favorites? It's a lot of fun kissing Megan Fox, dude. You know? That's well, not yeah. a bad situation. Well, I guess you could look look at that 50 years from now and go, <laughs> yeah. Tell your grandkids. Yeah, somebody made a mistake. <laughs> uh, she talked about a scene in the library that, that she just. You really had her. He improvs constantly, and he's a genius. He's a comedic genius. And uh, we were filming in the library, and that day he was just really on a roll. And what you see, that scene in the library, mm -hmm. none of that was on the page. That's all came from his bizarre little brain. And he had me crying. I was crying. I couldn't finish my dialogue. We have a lot of fun. You know, there has to be levity in these movies. Otherwise, there's no way to get through it. There's a lot of ad-libbing that goes on, and freedom, and... and, and uh, she listens really well, you know, she's like, you gotta have a, an actor listening to respond to be able to do this ad-libbing, and she's really good at it. I just had a full-blown mental meltdown in the middle of my class. This is the biggest budgeted movie Paramount's ever made. Uh, it's, nobody's been allotted more toys by the military than us. First time this movie came out, recruiting numbers went up. 
Wow, the amount of toys that we get to play with is, is it's astronomical. Well, I saw it on IMAX yesterday. <sighs> I can't even I imagine. I still haven't done for that. for the eyes. Sure. I mean. Sure, it's an anxiety attack we're selling. Looks exactly like a truck. Freaky, right?